podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Boss talk. Yeah, we came from the struggle. Boss talk. Say you looking for the best? Boss talk. We ain't worried about the rest. Boss talk. Tell me who's hot, who's not, who really on top, who got they on shop, the hustle don't stop, same old shit, grinding, you know ain't nothing changed one bit, it's a unique... Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad all going. Man, hold up. I done up and done it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to hear. She here, a man. You know, uh, yeah, she's uh, one of them people that, uh, yeah, she can make your life exciting, or she can be a big surprise to you as well. <laughs> yeah. Taylor B is in a building. Hey. Is it the shade room, man? Yeah. yeah. You got the reputation, the shade room. <laughs> say, they told me, they said, man, you know your show on the shade room. I say, what? What the hell did we do? My And, and then she said, I told her she could do it. It just came up to me. So I want to say, man, what's going on, man? We do, are we doing a good job over here? Or does that mean you're doing good? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was a clip that everybody wanted, you know. Everybody was sharing. Yeah. And everybody wanted to know what happened, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like we don't really see her speak out a lot. And so I, I feel like that was a good clip to share. Dang. Uh, now, uh. I want to go back because people need to know who this is. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. just just skipped over some stuff because they never met her yet. We did, but they didn't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Taylor B. Growing up, where you from, all of that shenanigans. Yeah, so um, I'm from Frisco. Well, I'm from Chicago originally. I grew up in Frisco, Texas. Um, How long you been here compared to in Chicago? Yeah, I've been here way more longer <laughs> than I've been in Chicago. I left Chicago when I was like eight. Okay. Yeah, so, um, I mean, what? Go ahead. Siblings raised your mom and dad. I was about to say, like, I don't have no siblings, so, you yeah. Spoil. <laughs> you spoil. You spoil as hell. As hell. <laughs> you be running around with an attitude for no reason. I need to get that. Daddy's princess, get everything you want. I feel like it's like both parents, like, pretty even. No, really? It yeah. is not even at all. No, I can she tell you know that. how to use her head and both. No, That's no, what it dads is. never get, they just do so. If she's saying it's even, that nigga on 130. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, daddy don't never get treated right. No. Father's Day, here they come with that little tie or that little wallet or them little house shoes. Don't was, keep all that. When I was younger, I, like, would get him socks and stuff. See, but, like, <laughs> but, like, the older I got, I made, like, I got him a gun case recently. That's like, hard. That's hard. Printed, that's hard. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than the socks. Yeah. But then, um, but you know what, though? <laughs> Fathers, they know how to come to daddy and ask for all the money and they go to mama for something else. No, you keep the money and everything at the house. I don't have no, nothing. But it still come to you for the money. For though. the card. It ain't the money no more. You know what I'm saying? You niggas are taking the card now. I take both of my parents' money. <laughs> <There you. laughs> no, when I was younger, now I, I got my own money. Already. But, yeah. But now you, you should be giving that money. I, I tried, like, I just took my mom to a, um, her birthday is um, in a couple weeks, and about a couple months ago, I took her to a Mary J. Blige concert. Oh, wow. And she's, like, a huge fan, and she had never seen them, and she always used to take me to concerts, so it felt good to be able to, like, that's, give that's you know, take that's her. Aww. Yeah, it felt good. Man, that's so, good. so growing up, I mean, uh, what were, was it a thing where, you know, you, you was able to fit in, or did you feel ostracized in any way going to school? Uh, did, did you feel like it was easy just flowing through life, or, or was there challenges? Um, I would say high school was pretty, like, cool for me. I was on the cheer team. I was, like, you know, I was pretty known. Active. Um, yeah, I was pretty active in, like, other clubs, choir, DECA, all, all that stuff, but um, I would say college was was hard. College was an adjustment because it was it was an environment I wasn't used to. I was in Oklahoma. I wasn't used to Oklahoma. Um, what was it about Oklahoma um, that was so different? Were you- it's like something weird. Like uh, they make you get in the car with them when they pull you over. Like you got to get in the car with the police officer. Like it was just some like um, like in the college I went to, they had like an abortion like set up and like pictures of babies like that have been gone through abortion and like trying to get people to like be um pro-life or pro-choice you know like they wanted you to sign a where petition did they have that at the college in the showing? middle of the lawn in like this like where the student union and the library and all that was like it was every year like oh so you were uh, oklahoma state oklahoma state damn yeah what year was that um well, I, I graduated in 2015 damn yeah I mean, it was a great school, but there was some stuff that was just like, yeah, I was ready to go. 
Mm. <laughs> Did you experience racism over there? Um, I would say I experienced microaggressions. Like I, um, I had like a Mercedes, and I would get followed a lot, and I would get pulled over. Um, I had somebody. Um, I had a even being a female because I know that police usually hard on men and um, profile men more than the ladies. I I feel like they didn't know who was in the car. I think they oh, might have just saw a black person in the car, and so um, yeah, they pulled me over. They check check my car. Um, I've had someone. It was actually here where. He pulled up next to me and was like, hey, we, we got the same car. And I was like, yeah. And he was just like, okay. And he pulled off. White was, guy? Yeah. And I was just like, that's weird. Yeah, shout out to Like he don't man. expect you to have that type yeah, of car. Yeah, it was weird. It was really that weird. That nigga think that's something. Wait till this year, nigga. Because she, <laughs> <all out of, laughs> she got something in store. <laughs> I mean, right? Yeah. Like, God for the drop this blessing. Next day, you man. Dude, you got one of them, nigga. I'm flying up. I'm flying. I'm in a helicopter. No, <laughs> next, thing, next thing, he going to pull up and be like, how you get one of those? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, know. Yeah. So, what? The thing I, I just gotta ask you this because I, I want to get back to the shade room. I'm headed right on back to it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I've uh, I've I've asked a few people about. You. Is it is it a thing? Where how do you how do you how do you even know if you're gonna get the get on there? Just gotta be um, an interesting topic. I think it just depends on the individual teams and depends on what they're looking for. I I, it's, I don't feel like there's like a one for sure way to get on the shade room unless you go through advertising. Who makes the calls? As in like, um, as into what goes on shade room? Yeah, it depends on the team. So like, it depends on if it's the website team, the shade room team, the teens team. Like, I'm over the teens, but like, still my individual editors are able to like pick and choose pick what and content. Choose. It's just they they've learned the audience enough to know what they like and don't like. How do, how is how is your audience um, compared to the Shade Room? Because I know the Shade Room, like my daughter, she's seventeen, mm -hmm. and when we told her that, oh yeah, we were on um, Shade Room teams, teens, she's like, I don't be watching that. Yeah, and I'm like, but you're a teenager. I would think that you, that's where you would be. She but she's on, she know everything that goes on the Shade Room, right? But not Shade Room teens. Yeah. So what is the Shade Room compared to the Shade Room teens? Um, I would say the biggest comparison to your point, it just skews a little bit younger. So like the teens is more of like the YouTubers, the influencers, um, celebrity kids, things like that. Whereas like what age group? Uh, I would say like eighteen to twenty four. That's hard. Yeah, I, I, like I guess that. my daughter just thinks she's older than what she really is. And then. some people, it just depends on what kind of content they into. There's some people that are younger that tend to maybe not watch the YouTubers and stuff like that. So, um. Mm. I think you can't really scale it. I think it's some people that watch both of them. Yeah, that too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's hard to really gauge it. Cause yeah, she especially off, not off my daughter. Because my daughter is different. Yeah. Uh, my daughter, you see how I say that? She's a different type of person. Yeah. Like, yeah, you just never know. You yeah. walk <laughs> in there, she... I ain't gonna put a business out there. Boy, I could really blast you right now. <laughs> Boy, I could tear you up, but I'm gonna let you make cause you little homegirls be following us. I already know what's <laughs> But definitely, yeah, don't even be surprised at what she might do. So Shade Room, they mainly do celebrity stuff, right? I feel like it's a mix of content. You um if you like look at the page, I mean you will see roommates on there you'll see you know celebrities on there i think it just it, it really just depends because that's what i'm trying to see so do they ever post things that y'all would normally post sometimes or do you like not cross that barrier? We, we definitely cross promote um okay. it, it depends on like i said it depends on who it is and what the content is but uh my interview with armand warren that was cross promoted on oh, the, the main page so yeah okay it depends it depends if it makes sense mm -hmm. i like it because i just feel like you know to be able to be a part of something, you know, yeah. to, to that that it has like a, it's, it's kind of incognito. You, you just don't know, you know, like you know. Right. It's funny how how you gauge social media. You ever think yeah. about it? Like who the hell run YouTube? A lot of a people. A lot of people. Google. Yeah. <laughs> you see the what I'm saying? Yeah, Google. Google. Yeah. So you gotta okay now which one I'm pushing the button. You know, I'm nosy. You know, a lot I'm of different old school too. Yeah. It's, I know it's a lot of different ones. Well, who run the Facebook? Meta, and why, see she know all this because she's her job. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just telling you how a normal yeah. dude who out here thinking about it. Well, if TikTok still in China, you know I'm over here like yeah. that. You know when you really like it's not my job. I'm just on there pushing buttons. Right. I'm not investigating. At some point, somebody calls. Oh yeah, you got a team, but I I get it. But right, right now, I just like not knowing. It's it's, it's a different 
place for people. It's not my job to know. I'm sure you probably, if you Googled or YouTube, <laughs> if that's your thing. search for a person who had gotten an interview, who worked there, they probably spill the beans and say, oh yeah, this is what goes on in the back end of Facebook and this, this No, and this. It, I don't think so. It had to be when somebody You think did. they signed something to say that they can't talk about it? I just think in general, like people don't really get into the weeds of they, they company because like, Somebody, I mean, people be watching. So if you you go and get into the weeds of what your company got going on, then people might try to take it. Mm. Yeah, but it's a, it's one person. If they hired a wrong black person, <laughs> <laughs> or a disgruntled employee, somebody they fired, oh and they God. don't like the them. Wrong no Chinese yeah. guy. Oh my goodness, <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be in that You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He gonna rent. You know what I'm saying? So what's the what do you feel like the one of the uh, one of those defining moments since you've been with the shade room, like something that sticks out to you that that happened that you can talk about. Of course, you know y'all be so hush hush. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say when I had came to Boss Talk, talk last time, I had told you. I think you asked me my like top three, mm -hmm. and I had told you Joyner Lucas was in my top yeah. three. So um, I've met him. What? Um, yeah, he actually came to the Dallas show. He had got off stage and gave me a hug when during his concert. Like he shows so much love yeah, and like Lord. that's like a surreal moment because it's somebody that is like I said in my top three. So oh, that Lord. that means a lot to me, you know. Yeah. Well, I wish you hadn't said that because I was going to ask you top three again because they're about to be the first top three. <laughs> but that's all right. We'll still ask you. Yeah. No, you can still ask me. It's yeah. probably changed a little bit. Joanna Lucas is your number one. Uh, I mean, I don't have an order, but okay. he's definitely in top three. Okay, um, okay. who else? Wayne. Um, and I'm going to have to give love to Dallas right now. I'm going to have to give love to my guy, Ty Harris. I'm not going to lie to you. Ty he's, Harris? Yeah. Who is that? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, I see a guy, uh, yeah, I... I think I know that guy. A little bit. <laughs> I feel like Ty, come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, man, Ty, come on, man. Come on up, baby. You know what I'm saying? Ty's here. He got his piano, too, tonight, y'all. He about to play a song. Oh, you yeah. played a song? No, no. <laughs> Damn piano. No, he did not know he was even going to be on here. He's just hanging out, man. But I'm you can't come, out with my big you can't sister, come man, over so. here and not come on balls. Are you sure. crazy? For sure. For sure. Yeah, you got on? to be out to your mind. What's going on? He like, knew. He already he knew. He knew. He knew. <laughs> Certain people can't. Oh, it's been some. I'd be like, just sit right back there until she get done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do that. I, yeah. Will I get fly? Mm -hmm. Well, what minute. I wanted to ask because um, since some of the, our viewers don't might not know, how did you get on to working with Shade Room? Yeah, so um, I was actually at TD Jakes Ministries before I got to the Shade Room, and um, I had went on LinkedIn, and the job had been up for like three months that I was looking for, and um, it had like three hundred applicants, and I was like, I told my recruiter, I was like. Yeah, they probably I mean, already done with the process. Like, I'm not even going to try. And she was just and like. was this your dream job? I would say in the social media realm, yeah. Okay. My end goal is to own a record label. But mm. in the social media realm, yes. Um, mm. But. Are there any females who own a record label? In, well, there's only two record labels in Dallas right now. Right. And I don't, I don't think either one of them are females. Mm -mm. Yeah. I just want to go back to, to T.D. Jake. You quit yeah, T.D. Jake. Go ahead. I didn't quit. I, you know, I didn't quit. my mind over here. So you quit TD Jakes, huh? To go to the shade room. That, I say, how quit. does that sound? You know, I didn't quit. She just say, "I'm gonna jump right in." You know, I, I gave <laughs> TD Jakes uh, Ministries four years of my, you know, dedication and helping build the platform and the team, and um, they showed nothing but love, and they still mm -hmm. show love. I still can pull up and, you know see the team and stuff like that and see what we've all like put together and created so nothing but love like I have nothing I didn't quit it was just like time for me to move on no, I just like so how long did it take for you to get on over they said 300 applicants you didn't finish the yeah story. so um I applied um after my recruiter said if I didn't apply she would and Ooh. um about a week later I got a call and it, like when it comes up it says the shade room so I was like this sound like like some spam <laughs> yeah I was like this can't be real and then um yeah, I, I would say it took about two weeks. Mm. It took about two weeks. And wow. next thing you know, she is in the building. In and the building. Over here quiet, not want to talk about anything just yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I got it. But uh, we ain't going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so I enjoyed you, though. I, I, you, you can tell your spirit is right. That's what I go by, energy. I appreciate You're that. You're a good person. I appreciate so that. I knew that. You know, you was a woman who... 
loved her man. I remember that. <laughs> I do. I loved her man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's just, and we've been, yeah. We don't talk about that part. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we, hey, Ty Harris is in the building, man. What's, What's going on, What's man? Happening? What's happening? What you been up to, man? I mean, I know you, uh, yeah, you w- w- been with Snoop Dogg and all kind of Snoop. stuff since you left here. I seen you, oh, nigga. Man. You didn't think I seen nah, you? Nah, nah. I know it's all fam. It's all fam. I see you too, nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I see the plaques coming and everything. Yeah, they coming. Yeah, they yeah. definitely coming. Uh, no. uh, uh, nah, <laughs> man. I, I just, I just been, you know, working and praying. That's all, man. Just every chance I get, talk to the Lord. Every chance I get, keep working. That's all I do. So, the, the Snoop Dogg thing was crazy. How did you even end up with Snoop and 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 just do it? And how many how many shows did you do with him? Like y'all did a tour, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a couple legs. Oh, uh, I can't even remember how many, but definitely a couple legs. Uh, we did the Midwest leg, which was amazing. Shout out Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That was my first time ever being in front of. I don't know, how many was it? Fifteen, fifteen, or eighteen thousand. I can't remember, but. Uh, Oh man, they showed me so much love. I got up there, and I I had my ears in for the first time. Really couldn't hear nobody, and I asked I asked the crowd if they knew anything about food stamps. Ten thousand plus white people screamed to the top of their lungs when I asked them about food stamps, wow. and I was like, it really changed my perspective on a lot of things because I thought black people was the only people on food stamps, and they screamed to the top of their lungs. I said, oh shit. <laughs> We in this together, <laughs> God damn it! See, but, I made it. Man, yeah, that that was amazing. The whole uh, the whole Midwest uh, leg was just amazing for me. Wow, for sure. I, I just I, I did, did Snoop give you that. Hey, what's up, nephew? Yeah, on, on God. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, no, nah, man, that that was crazy too. That was surreal in itself as well. That that's up there with the with meeting Ice Cube. That's up there, and I got to perform before them. I got to open up for both of them. So hey, that's crazy. Like all that, even Warren G, the whole West Coast. Like it was amazing, bro. Man, it was amazing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I man, I didn't get to make the show. I didn't get no tickets or nothing. <laughs> so no, everybody was like, "Dang, when you gonna go?" I said, "Well, he was on the show. That don't mean I get to go with him." Look, uh, nobody ain't called me yet. I look, was waiting my- by the phone. I said, <laughs> 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 "Nobody ain't called me." But uh, I know I read. I said, "Baby, did anybody come?" She said, "Nah, they didn't call her." Nah, oh, no, damn. No, look, next time I got you. <laughs> Because this time, the first time, you know, it was hard you to know, get my big brother in. I'm my blood big brother. I'm like, shit. I'm waiting. I'm saying, man, we're going to buy the tickets. We'll just fly up there whenever you told us we can yeah, come I'll that night. Back. You yeah. know, shout out to Bubba Dub, who always invite us to all the stuff and all oh. these other niggas in last place. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, uh, um, that that's hard, man. So, uh, E-40, uh, he didn't have no pointers for you, you know, oh, man. rocking out with Snoop. E-40 gave me too much game. Like, we, we was in the studio for a minute, like all night, one night. Um, he gave me so much game on a lot of things, on everything. Like, Did he know you was with Snoop on two? Uh, he didn't know. He didn't know. Really? He did. Uh, I met 40 before I met Snoop. I know, but yeah, I was yeah. thinking maybe, you know, he might have seen that. You know, niggas making moves out here just in case you see this thing. Yeah, yeah, type <laughs> shit. <laughs> nah, E-40 definitely gives me a lot of game on a lot of things I ain't know nothing about. So Lord. E-40 definitely gave me a lot of game. And one other person that don't nobody give a lot of credit to, uh, uh, and, and homegrown in Dallas is Duro. He gave me a lot of game as well. Yeah. Duro's a yeah. man. He, me he wanted to rock with him too. I forgot. Yeah, yeah y'all. That's ultimate. how I got my. I can't skin. believe y'all. Right. Did, y'all should have knew Watts for sure because him, right. him and Cash and all them. Yeah, all Cash them too. Yeah. They're all partners. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the one just left. That y'all, y'all. So he, but he, mm-hmm. but he ducked off. He ducked off. He don't play that. Okay. No. No, the dude that he was talking about early. Oh. You know, yeah. he don't even know cash. You don't even know cash. Y'all no, know. yeah, we both yeah, know cash. Yeah, he know cash. Yeah, I know yeah. cash like motherfucker. That yeah, dope. that's the homie. Yeah. For real? We talking about yeah, the same I'm losing cash. It. cash. Yeah, it's Mike. It's Mike mm-hmm. is fading. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Why did it just go off? You talked it out. I don't know. For some reason, every mic, when I get in front of every it, it, podcast, it just do me he like didn't that. Touch nothing, it's because his voice so deep. Damn. You brought the whole back on. Yeah, you know, that's just... Damn! <laughs> <laughs> we got to get that other mic up here, too. Uh, man, you know, uh, I just want to say, man, uh, man, thank you guys, man, because you guys are you in Dallas, and, and, and we need all, like the other guy said, the content is so, you know, it, we he said something earlier, uh, Ghana Music, when he was on here, because I said, man, what, how you think the music doing in Dallas? He said, we just got to keep working. It is. And be yeah. consistent, and I agree with that. Because yeah. when you look at it from that perspective, 
he was like, because I'm like, well, where's this big hit at? But he, the consistency is going to pay off. Yeah. And I agree with that. And people look at Dallas and when they see the music. You don't think we got a lot of big hits? I feel like having the right team matters, though. You talking about within the last year? And last year, okay. So, <laughs> see, Dallas getting a little spoiled now. We're getting spoiled now. I mean, because of that. No, <laughs> that's sure, what I'm saying. Sure, I'm, I'm sure. looking at the last, with me coming into this game, the bigger, the bigger hits. The, the, I mean, of course, we've been in got, here almost two years. So within the past two years, yeah. But you had, you had outside. outside you had, yep. you can't, you had, a, you had a big. That's what one. I said about twenty twenty two to your you point. You had that yeah. on me, you that's know. On me, so outside. you, I, yeah. I get it now. Give me, you see what I'm saying? Okay, so but then you got you, you, you got. Those you came got out in what, 2021? Post Malone, them too, yeah, though, but you can't count them. Yeah, that 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 you can't yeah. count Over that, man. I see where you trying to go. You trying to take this I back. I mean, we could really do it, though. Britney Spears and uh, what's her man, name? Man, we, <laughs> we could do all that. We but could do all that. I, we know can, I mean, you can't talk about Cash Page and I think we ain't got nothing brewing. Yeah. She hard. Oh, Facts. man. She t- rolling loud. She hard. Oh, man. She hard. America, all kinds she of stuff. She hard. She Come on, man. I can't lie. We got it. But do we embrace it? That's another thing. Do we really give it the credit and the support that it deserves? Dallas don't. But you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, oh, you real? <laughs> but now you, you you that's I like the way she came across and told the truth. See, <laughs> truth will set you free. It'll make you miserable at first, but it'll set you free for sure. I feel so, like Dallas supports who they want to support. Sometimes she from Chicago too. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm she was eight. the city all day. When she was eight. Yeah, all day. Megan the Stallion, uh, from San Antonio. I don't know her. You know, <laughs> I don't know her. I don't know where she's from. According to uh, <laughs> <laughs> according to the call, I don't know where she's from either. <laughs> but it's speaking wild on Boss Talk 101, baby. <laughs> so uh, so when you you when how did you two link up? So wait, you actually don't know the full story. I don't. No, I'm really? like, how does he not know the I full story? He knows how I'm we fifty percent of the story. Right. He knows, he knows how we linked, like from a social media perspective. But like, um, go well, on. maybe we know no, two different on. stories. Then. So tell your story first. I interviewed Cash um, for TSR Teens, and um, I had asked her her favorite artist in Dallas, and she had said Ty, my dog, and I had seen Ty. But, like, I hadn't really tapped into him for real, for real. And so when I actually, like, tapped into his music and, like, I hit him up and told him, like, I had, like, really messed, like, really liked his music and I wanted to get him on my podcast. And I feel like that's the that's the part I know. What part do you know? So I ain't know about that. You right. I'm about to say, you ain't know about that. <laughs> I didn't know about yeah. that. Shout out Cash Page. That's I my know. dog. Like, serious <laughs> business. Serious business. Dude, I ain't gonna lie. When you talk, I hear that song. It's a song when you be talking on it for something. <laughs> What's that? It's a song, uh-huh. man. Which one is that? I don't want to bo- be no street nigga. It might. It, it, <laughs> no, I wasn't talking on that one. That no, was somebody totally no, different. No, no, no. It might be the one when it might be Blood Brothers. It's just a a, a, a conversation. That's all. One of them things. One yeah, the boy got a, a nice voice. You know, he sound like. Uh, 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 a smaller version of Big X the plug around this house. Smaller version. <laughs> Big X the plug hard that nigga too. That nigga boy is deep as hell. Yeah. Hey man, he sat up? right there just like, "What's up, man?" You know, I thought about. it I'm like, "What the hell?" My mom, their voices be so deep. <laughs> <laughs> they bringing back deep voice music right now. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. 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 Nah, so, shout out Cash Page though because that's one of the only she people stays I showing love. Just be myself type shit like yeah, Cash Page. Really she was just in town person. not too long ago. Yeah, yeah with her so homecoming. Yeah, I talked to her people too. I was gonna get on, but we had just come from out of town. We be mm-hmm. so busy. Bro. Super dope. Hey, just a plug. She gonna be back in town for her um, tour. So really? when February first? Okay, so, well yeah. you gotta you gotta hook that up. I, I, I don't. I ain't even. Think I was said, supposed to talk dog. about it. I was, I she just been. posted it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. She's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm the secret keeper. Oh, I'm right yeah. Nobody. That nigga don't give it to the. Oh, nigga, yeah. it's right here. Oh, yeah. I'm just I'm chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chilling, goddamn. No, for so. sure. Shout out Cash Page. Though, so, how's you know. the podcast world for you? I, I mean, how, how did you even get started your podcast? And what's the name of it again? Give me that plug. Hey, yeah, it's the No Fuck Boy Show. Ooh, yeah, y'all gotta check it out. Like, Come up with that name. <laughs> you know what? Um, I, like I said, I started it back in 2017, and so I I was uh, I had got just got in my relationship, and I realized like I was like, what can I call my podcast? Like we talk about relationships, and I realized like I dealt with a lot of fuck boys in my life, and I just felt like it was fitting, and so um, we did the podcast for about two years, had 
Great people come be him, um, Emmy, uh, it's little B man, uh, KB Zo came through, and um, just you know, a whole bunch of you know, Dallas just really, really showed love, but we didn't have that video component, which I felt like we really needed. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really set up like that. We did it on um, dfwiradio.com, mm -hmm. and um, then like I got pregnant. And then my other host got pregnant, and then the other two wanted to focus on their careers. So we just stopped. It was it's just contagious. too much. You know, pregnancy is contagious. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> we, it just got to a point where we were just like, we can't do this right now. And so um, I actually had someone call me and was like, hey, somebody wants to, like, take your brand and do it themselves. I was like, hell no. Like, you know, this, this actually gave me the push that I needed to start right. this back up. I knew I wouldn't be able to do it with the original host. So I just, I found some new hosts. And um, shout out to Trey G, shout out to Jay, shout out to Thomas, and our um, our boy Juice. Uh, they've been so really there's five of them. Uh, it's five it's four hosts, um, hosts, and then Juice is our photographer. Okay, yeah. So we've been. Um, it's more like a talk show now, though, really, because the way it's set up, it's not really like relaxed like this. It's I mean, yeah. it's relaxed, but like yeah, it's, we relax, ain't we? Yeah, <laughs> like I'm I'm like, like, <laughs> I would say it's relaxed, it like, it's chill, <laughs> but it's also it's like here. none of that, man. It's produced, you okay. like you know, I'm like really like it looks like a morning show. Mm. And um, like the chairs set up and like you know stuff like that. Oh, so. and that professional as hell. Yeah, they did that over with coffee and yeah. <laughs> so who came up tea? with the idea you know? of switching it up like that? <laughs> um, so we just um, we had a a plug of someone who knew of a space to check out, and we just checked it out. And I was like, they were like, well, it's not as you know chill as you wanted it. And I was like, but that's the goal is to do something like a talk show. So let's do it. So that's that's what we did, and we wanted to see if it worked, and it vibed, and we were still able to be ourselves and not be stuffy. And right. Chai's been on the show. Super here. dope podcast, man. That's that's cool. Super dope. You know me. Got a TV say we got over here. <laughs> <laughs> See how you gonna over, be big. Y'all over echelon gutter though. You know, y'all, 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 the, the bougie hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's two sides to every hood. It's messing up again, ain't it? A bounce. I don't I can't hear it. It's all yeah. good. No, uh, it to, it go. only happens to me. No, man, it's back on. It's, it's, back back on. it's wild, man. It only happens to me. That's how they're going to be gone tomorrow. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. No, it's running, though. It's <laughs> running it up. Nigga, run it up. So you say you wanted to do a label. Are you taking steps to to start that label? Um, so right now, um, I'm going into, well, I'm going back into PR. Um, so I have some clients that I am about to start representing, uh, building those relationships. Um, I feel like that's first and key to me doing the next steps and then yeah right now I just want to build my contact list and build my relationships and kind of see what goes from there but you know LLC and all that I got it but it's just waiting on are you one of those that do vision boards and say okay by 2024 I'm gonna have this and da da da, da. I feel like I'm my vision board like okay I feel like well, I, I just think of it in my head and I'm like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that okay yeah wow. I, I've I've done vision boards like it's not something that is fun for me. <laughs> it's what, but some people make it look so good. They, when they make show it look it, so good. It looks but so when good. you try to do it, you like, why is um, mm -mm. it's not for everybody? It's not for me. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I'm like a freestyle. I'm off the dome. I do it. Yeah, that's what I, I say. Yeah, I just I'm go good. for it. Yeah. When I think yeah. of it, I go for and it. And I'm good at it too. Yeah. I don't know if I'm really <laughs> to y'all, but to me, I'm the yeah. difference for that. That's where you got to feel, man. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, so, I mean, what what do you think? You know, Shade Room got their thing going, but, I mean, what I go to the internet. That's where I'm going to get all my information. What am I getting when I go to the to teens? What what am I getting? Um, Like I said, it's just the daily updates on, like, celebrity news, YouTubers, influencers. Um, it skews younger because it is the teens. Um, I would say... Gen Z centric content, yeah. Do they jump in your inbox when they say, "Man, that, why you why you post that?" Anybody ever jump in? Y'all ignore them, don't you? I never ran into. I never ran into. Y'all look at crazy comments or crazy inboxes. I mean, uh, I haven't seen anything super super crazy. And I mean, like, like, for, like the, it. for the most part, I find people to be pretty pretty cool, honestly. And then even the people that DM me personally, like, I haven't had any. I haven't had any crazy situations. That's hard. That's yeah. Hard. So, um, what what do you how how far, how long do you plan on? Where are you taking this to? You just gonna just keep growing your brand until you just blow everything up out the world. I, I just I just want to like I just want to focus on my podcast. I want to build my client clientele for 
um, PR. Uh. <laughs> For sure. And it's working. You oh, you gonna mess it up? <laughs> For sure. Um, and go off. Um, pop your I shit. have a yeah. He he be telling me I need to pop my shit. Um, but and I, my thirtieth is is coming up. Okay. So Ooh, what uh, you gonna do? I'm trying to throw a benefit concert for mental health. Wow. Um, have some people pull up. We got go a headliner right here that's gonna pull up and. Uh, um, I, I've been working with the nonprofit to try to create a program for college women, um, black women in college, so that in PWIs and HBCUs, so that when they go through a mental health crisis, they are set up with the right tools instead of like I don't feel like they all the yeah because I, 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 how how bad is mental ugh. mental illness because even like you know everybody's seeing it on the news right now about yeah. Twitch. Um, rest that in was peace. Crazy, I know. You know, because on social media and everything, he looked like he's happy. he's happy. Everything is fine. Whatever he got, his wife, everything is great. Right. And then to leave his house, take off walking, go to a hotel, and then kill yourself. Yeah. Like I don't know what he was struggling with. You know what I mean? Like I feel like sometimes your mind, no matter how much good your life is going and how good people see your life going, sometimes your mind takes you to some dark places and you can't get out of that. And so I feel like people just need to check on their people. People need to make sure they tapped in with their people because if you not, if you don't feel like you got an outlet and you feel, you don't feel like you feel like it's just all on you and the weight is all on you, like you might feel like that's the only way out. I hate that it happened right before Christmas. You know what I mean? I hate that his kids have to have mm -hmm. that memory of Christmas mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. It's really sad. Um, even his wife having to explain that to their kids. I have a three year old. Like I, I, I couldn't even imagine. You know what I mean? So. Um, just prayers because it's people are surprised about Twitch, but there's probably so many of their favorite celebrities dealing with that same right. thing right but now. But the thing is that okay, because I know people who've dealt with depression and still even maybe going through it. And what I know about people is that no matter if you check on them, people don't let you in all the time. It could be your best friend, it could be somebody who you always talk to. When some people does, when you're depressed, you want to be left alone. You're not going to answer your phone, even if you're not going to answer the door. Yeah. You just want to be, and even if you do answer the door, you're not going to tell them what's going on. Right. If you don't want to. You I had, understand what I mean? I had somebody that, um, it was, it was similar to that. Like, they didn't want to be bothered. They didn't right. want to text. They didn't want to, we just like left stuff at their door. Like, we still thinking about you. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes it just take that, like you, I mean, sometimes you got to go that extra step, but. I would rather say I did everything in my power to be there for you than to um, come to your funeral. So, I mean, sometimes you you got to go to that extra step. Sometimes, like, you know, a phone call and a text is not enough. Sometimes you got to pull up. Sometimes you got to pull up multiple times because sometimes people just, they don't they don't see that people there for them. They're like, oh, it's just a text. It's just, you know, it's just a phone call. But, like, sometimes you got to be in their face. And also, um, the pandemic took people to some dark places that isolation was no joke for some people and i'm gonna always put god in it because for the main fact that and and i'm going off of this off of you know people that i've dealt with right and um no matter how much you give advice and you try to talk to people because you know that they're going through something because you know that's not them the right. regular them of how they normally are right and you, you give them the spiritual you give them the real you give them everything and when you care about somebody, you want them to just snap out of it. You want them mm -hmm. to come right back. But you have to realize that everything works in God's time. Yeah. So you can't get stressed and depressed yourself over somebody else not doing what they... Because it can bring the other person into depression as well. Because yeah. especially when you love somebody and imagine his wife. This is not just a... A random thing that just happened. I I guarantee you, he's been going he's through been depression going through. and going through different things, and she might could not have reached him, you know, and right. herself could be going through something because of him. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? We don't know what people go through. Agreed. And when you love somebody, it hurts you to see them going through certain things, and it can bring you down as well. But I always tell people, just say what you need to say and do what you need to do for that person. When it's time for them to snap out of it, if they ever snap out of it, they're going to remember your words. They're going to remember, yeah. You, you just know really what I mean? don't yeah. know what their business was. Exactly. You don't know you what they're going through. What the heck that family was going through. You don't know what him and her were going through. Right. You don't know. You just, we just talking because you don't know what goes in, on inside somebody. Behind mm -hmm. closed doors. But they know. Yeah. I'm being real. It ain't mm -hmm. like he just, all of a sudden, they just walked out. Mm -hmm. 
it, 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 I think, I think things are, are, it's a calculated, I mean, you think he could hide it from her and the kids? All I'm saying it's, is we don't know. It's a possibility. You too. know what I'm saying? We don't know. I think black men, um, sometimes a lot of weight is put on their shoulders. You know what I mean? So they feel like... <laughs> What? Why you look on his face. That's like, why you laugh. Black <laughs> men. Yeah. No, I mean, took it there. I mean, I I can tell you about black men. I don't need you to explain. No, no, no. No, I'm in the sense of like. What's up? Step up, baby. Hey, man, no, say. Uh, <laughs> nah, I just mean yeah, in the sense of like. It's, <laughs> I feel like sometimes we expect our black men to be invincible. We expect them to do so much, and I'm not saying there's no no nothing on black women too. That's a whole nother conversation. But we're, since we're talking about Twitch, I feel like, and again, I don't know his situation, but I do feel. Like we kind of we don't really listen when they might be asking for help because it doesn't it doesn't they might not say help. And I think that stems from men feel like I got to be a man. Right. Mm -hmm. I got to I got to be the, the shoulder you cry on. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be crying on your shoulder, you know, type of thing. I shouldn't be opening up and saying I'm talking about feelings. <laughs> They're laughing because uh, uh, Ty, go ahead and say what you need no, to say. I'm, Your I'm, mic out again. I, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> it happens in God's time. You want me to shut up? I'm just keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> no, it's, it's all good. Y'all tell us about how to now, why we, how we live. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's why we laugh. Because that's usually what happens. Like, no, but they y'all coming from, am I, am I on? Yeah, you mm -hmm. on. Y'all coming from a perspective of watching. So right. it's the outside in. It's exactly. the exterior looking in. So. Yeah. You know, I don't think, I don't think y'all, I don't think we, we're not going to let y'all in. I don't think so. Some of us might. I don't might, think but so I don't, either. No. Yeah. I mean, not for real. But then if you don't, it can go we're to the point where. Damn if point. Don't. No, but if yeah. you don't, I, I understand where you say damned if you do, because then women, some women will take it and use it oh, against you. Oh, they will. Not all, but some women <laughs> well, do all, use that against <laughs> you. But, <laughs> but if you don't, it can happen where all of that build up and you feel like everything you have to carry it on your own and it can lead to something like what just happened to him. Okay, yeah. so let me say this, let me ask this. If you are witnessing a black man going through something stressful, this is going, I'm gonna use the A word real quick and I'm not talking directly to you, I'm talking to everybody out there in YouTube land watching what this What A word? The A word is accountability. Oh man, I thought you were gonna say ass. I know. That's see, that's 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 see, that's the problem right there. Mindset. So, so, <laughs> so if you, and I'm, 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 when a black man talking, it's whatever. Oh ain't it? See, I hate to do it to you, but I'm gonna do Telling it. Y'all asking me? Y'all ask me? Amen. Y'all ask me? So, Praise if God. you witnessing a black man going through some stressful shit, mm -hmm. some depression, right. some kind of mental illness, some, something he can't get over, do you look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself? Am I a problem? Is there anything that I can do to help? Or, while he going through it, are you one of the people that says, snap out of it. You're acting weak. You, 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 you're sassy. I've been here. I've been seeing these words a lot on. See, I'm a mental health nigga. I'm a mental health advocate. I go to churches all the time. I talk about it all the time. So, you know, I see, I see the, 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 the the repetition thing amongst our people, especially our people when it comes to the mental health thing. And honestly, lately I've just been quiet because I'd rather listen than just talk about shit. This is the first time I've talked about it in a while. And I see a lot of the, when a, when a man has something to say, it's not taking, it's not taken the right way or it's taken the wrong way or it's not even taken serious. Yeah. And... You know, personally, I see a lot of people close to me go through it, come home, and you know that black man, he going to stay in the car after work for about 30 minutes, or he going to stay on that toilet for about 45 minutes. What you doing in there? You texting them other bitches? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I'm really trying to get my head right to come back to reality and deal with this shit. Not saying that you are a problem, because I know a lot of women, out our black queens going to take what I'm saying like well, well, well fuck it then I ain't gonna even be with you and then that ends up being a whole nother deal so it's it's more about I think being considerate of everyone's feelings and even though as black men we want to put on this shit like ain't got no feelings nigga but we all do that's just human nature and you know from a woman like I can't talk from ever um anybody else's perspective I can only speak from mine for sure right. so whenever 
a man is going through it or you see them, you know, going through it, especially if you didn't have just have an argument and you know that right. the explanation is why he looked like that is because y'all just, you know, got into it. Right. right. But he looks stressed or whatever. And you say, you know, what's wrong? But some men won't tell you what's wrong because they feel like I'll deal with it. It's it's on me. I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Instead of opening up and saying something as simple as work got me stressed right. or you know, somebody just pissed me off or, you know, whatever. And be like, okay, I, at least I know it's not me, but what can I do to make you happy? For sure. You know, take your mind off of it, whatever. Most men don't tell you. What, what you got? Do what you, you have got, something bro? you need to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Not really. Not really. I'm, I'm not even going to go there with y'all. I'm going to let y'all keep on, For sure. you know, living. I mean, I think you don't you don't resolve uh, what, what mental illness do, but mm -hmm. it's really just... Worry, worry, it's just problems. It's lifestyle yeah, stacked up. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. and we've changed and fancied it up to word, and we think we got a sum here. Yeah, yeah. But it's really just life, man. Yeah. So yeah. I think people, I, I, I'm not gonna go there with y'all because I, I know already that if you're leaving out God and you're not praying with your family and coming home and being a man and talking to your family about God and talking to your family about their experience throughout the day. You you just playing yourself because you already gonna keep running the roadblocks. Sometimes. So I'm not fit to even go there, which because right. most of the time when you do try to do right and you do the right thing, and a lot of time that looks boring. Yeah. 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 It, it, people be wanting excitement. They, me and her been married for 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Right. You you got to switch it up. You got to figure out ways to keep it exciting, mm -hmm. keep it going, and just being a man that love God sometimes ain't enough. I'm being real. Yeah. Uh, that's some real well, that's hard right there but I also nah, wonder why it's hard yeah. man let's go that's, that's a bar, right. man that's a bar yeah. <laughs> but do you think a lot of this will be solved if black men like if they don't want to talk to their wives and they don't want to talk to their their homeboys or whatever like a lot of them still don't want to talk to a therapist either yeah therapy is slept on well you can talk to, to a ther who's a therapist first of all I mean like is a it? licensed counselor and therapist I've never talked to a licensed counselor. Right, that's what I'm saying. I don't need one. I ain't got no problems like you that. You say that, but once you talk to him, you might realize you got well, some stuff that you want to talk about. I talk to God. I'm gonna be real God with you. God too. Sure. I don't. I don't Maybe. go. I don't by feel that. like they gotta be mutually well, exclusive. You can do I both. I feel like I feel like for me. Okay. I can dump sure. with God and prayer and. And I have a relationship that I don't think a counselor could even. God is my counselor, and really? and there's been things where. I've been through a lot, so yeah. it's a difference for me, where I know what he did for me. Yeah, and if you you don't even know what you're sitting there looking at, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I don't think no, I don't think no man could have done it. I feel like you need both, though. I, that's your feeling, right? No, you know I'm, I'm just saying because every it's different strokes for different yeah, folks. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, every individual is different, so yeah. I don't never. First of all, I always tell people, even to worship God, where they stand, or however you worship, whatever you do, mm -hmm. that's your business. I, everybody's different. Yeah. So when you and, and when and what we do is a lot of time we put things in a box. So if we think if it works this way for one, it works this way for all. It's not yeah, like not that. True. That's true. So I, I really don't. I don't never tell nobody what to do. Yeah. Well, for you everybody out there in YouTube land, it's it's a it's a few things. I know for me, I'm a and this is a this is a thing. I guess when you're talking to God, I like to document all my shit. That's real. I doc. That's why I rap. I docu documentation for me when it comes to all, I jot all that shit down. Put it in a song or something. Uh, there's like you say therapy. Some of these niggas work out. Some yeah. of these niggas, some of these niggas go a, a, a worse route. Mm -hmm. I used to go the worst route, and I just get some pussy and be done with it. Yeah, and, you know, I just Cause put all my that problems in that pussy. Mm -hmm. I think it, like I said, I think it, it, does. it depends. I think it just it takes depends. out the frustration for that moment, and yeah. then. Go come back to reality. Got I it. think it's all kind of ways. For different folks. Different, like, everybody's different. Because yeah. even counseling, some people that I spoke to who have went to counseling. Then we're not good I, no, And I've asked them, I said, well, do you get out of counseling? Do they give you um, like practices, feedback, you know, exercise or whatever? Some people, they get that. But some people say it's just somebody to talk to. Like it's without being a friend, just knowing that this person legally cannot go and tell my business compared to you telling right. to a friend, they might go social media, tell your business, do this, yeah. do that, whatever. Going to a therapist, they just go to the dump everything yeah. and how they feel. Yeah, it was a knowing that girl on here. Else. That girl that was on here said that she kept talking, reliving living the same thing over and over again mm -hmm. without their licensed therapist. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I would say I'm therapy is like, finding a therapist is like dating. Because like, I, no only reason, mm -hmm. I, I'm being for real, because like sometimes 
that therapist don't work for you. And like Thanks. I found therapists that did not work for me and they did not give me what I needed and I had to find a therapist that worked. Thanks. So right. sometimes you gotta, I'm, I'm not saying you have to go to therapists, but if you're looking for a therapist, mm-hmm. it, that first person might not work out. I've, I've tried think, a therapist before. Yeah, and? Like CB, I said. Um, <laughs> You really want to go there? Yeah, huh? and uh, I, I did bring it out. My I fucked up. I <laughs> fucked up. You got me. I tell you, uh, <laughs> I, I went to a CB, CBT doctor, uh, the co- cognitive behavioral therapy. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, and I was on two mood stabilizers. I was on Seroquel and Selexa. Mm-hmm. The thing they be saying Kanye on. Mm-hmm. I was on that uh, Lexapro kind of stuff. And I went for about month and I thought everything was cool my head was good everything was good but I realized I stopped making music and another thing that happened that upset me I met this girl that I really enjoyed fucking with and boom when it was time to get when it was time to go there <laughs> when it was time to, when, the, when the lightning struck and the thunder clapped, I was like yeah it's time to handle my business right girl I really enjoyed fucking with too dig didn't get hard <laughs> No. So that because of the medicine. Therapy. I went back to my CBT doctor. I told him what happened. He said, well, that's a part of the, the, the medication. Mm-mm. And at that moment, I knew. <laughs> you weren't going to be on that I wasn't going to be on that motherfucking medication. <laughs> and that man told me that I was a, I was a sex addict. And right now, I, Fuck you too. I ain't, I ain't going to therapy, my nigga. So ever since then, I just been document, documenting my feelings, nigga. I'll just put this shit in the music. I ain't even go through that and shit. And that no works more. for you. Nah, for sure. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit more later. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Like if I went through it and somebody else going through it, and they feel like this is not the right, because there's niggas out here killing themselves. Mm. There's women out here killing themselves. They don't know what you know. Mm-hmm. And I, I understand the mental health thing. Like I understand. Yeah. And maybe if I, even if I don't understand, and I still want to be in a fight. You agree? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I love that. I, I had some, I had some classmates that lost their life to suicide. Yeah. I had some, some friends, some rapper homies. Yeah. All kinds of shit that lose themselves to just stay on mind, and I think that shit is crazy. Yeah. Just like they say, when you're down, the only way you can come after being down is up. It has to come back up. It might take a year. It might take two years. Nobody knows how long. Yeah. But you got to come back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I said, it's something that everybody faces. Even everybody. 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 People been killing these. They say, since this before y'all was new. born, yeah. bro, I've been seeing this, man. Facts. And it the, ain't like it, we, we fancying it up. But I'm telling you, through living, I have seen this with my people, my cousins, when I was just a kid. Yeah. It, it, well, they didn't go to counseling. But some of them did. Yeah. 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 I'm t- it happens. It's, it's yeah. just you. Have and I'm not to, saying that counseling is a fix, like a fix it. Like no, you I just know say I mean? that you just got it, man. You better be putting God on your table. I'm yeah. telling you right Out now. Out of curiosity, which I don't know if anybody knows the answer to this, but how many people who have actually committed suicide actually was going to counseling? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Who was actually getting help? Man, but I think like, it's life, man. I feel. I feel like. I, yeah, to I, your I know point. a few. I ain't gonna tell no, their no, business, no, but no, no, I know no. a few for sure. Oh, yeah. so they have been. So they went to counseling. Yeah. I know a few of them. And they still okay. Mm-hmm. That's it's, just, it's just a part of man. Life is something else. It it hands you, and you just gotta go with it. I'm telling you, like it 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 is what it is. It some gets heavy. Pe- your mind is where it the problem heavy. starts. Yeah. Okay, if you really want to be real, mm-hmm. it starts with the mind. Yo, everything starts. You start thinking things up. You start creating images, man. Yep. I woke up the other night, and what I tell you, I said, oh, my God. You know, like, you, this this stuff, Satan starts with the mind. I'm yeah, just going to be right. I, I don't want to go there with y'all, but I'm yeah. telling you, when you start making it something else, then you can do that on your own. I just know the battle is very spiritual, and you better be it ready is. to fight. But you have to just recognize For me. it. You, you have, have to recognize, recognize that For that me. is who's messing with your mind. But you won't ever do that if you're trying to figure it out through all these different avenues. But that's for me. I can't say what's for everybody else. That's the whole game. Everybody want to put their situation on mm-hmm. somebody else. And I think right. that's weird, man. Mm-hmm. Cause no. Everybody's different. Everybody. Yeah. You everybody. come up in these homes, your mama spoil you, everybody. you don't have your daddy, Facts. your daddy pass away. Yeah. All this stuff is going on. And we saying, yeah. you need to do this. Come on, no, man. No, I you ain't got that. the answers. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, I was talking that's about that. Stuff. But we were talking about that earlier. I was talking about that earlier, how people go through traumatic situations in their life, whether 
say music deal oh I was the one who should have gotten that deal but he stole that from me and he got the deal and he big now whatever and all of a sudden now you carrying all of that hate and frustration and stuff like that mm -hmm. that it's like um, it's like you can't you don't know how to move on right you know what I mean you don't know how to function you haven't been able to, I'm like if if and to me I'm just talking about that situation but you can yeah. relate that situation to anything yeah and it can be um I feel like everybody gets hold though like I feel like everybody has something something and I feel like you in those situations when it's like business sometimes you got to eat that shit and keep going because you don't even know what you don't even know if you weren't even supposed to be in that situation like sometimes stuff happen because God trying to remove you from that situation completely and you need a wake up call. Right. And don't blame other people's for your downfall. Turn around and 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 come back up. Yeah. If you did it once before, you can do it again. Yeah. You understand what I mean? So that's how I look at everything. Yeah, well, this is how I look at everything right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this I, I'm going to be looking at everything from now on, too. Um, you know, I think a lot of time we have changed the way that uh, life itself. Uh, there was some rules given. And I think a lot of times the rules have been broken. I'll just put it like that. And when the rules, rules get broken, people start changing the way things are. And then they wonder what's going wrong. Why you don't want to go there? I can take it. There. I feel like you want to go there, but <laughs> no, you're trying not, not to go there. I, I want you to go but there. But I'm not going to do that. Nah. Because we gotta, it, it ain't going to be enough time. Nah. But I'm just telling you, there's a lot going on with people changing things. Yeah. To make it the world. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the way you want it. Spiritual warfare. Let's do it the way you want to do it. Come and uh, yeah. yeah, I'm going to let you rock with that. But over here. We gonna do it this way for yeah. sure. If you want to ride with me, get in the car. Close yeah. the door behind you. Put Thanks. your seatbelt on. Thanks. Real talk. That's codes. <laughs> so Time. check it, man. Hey, man. Thank you for coming on the show. You see, I shut that hoe down. Ooh, I shut that hoe <laughs> down. Thank you for coming on the show, Ty Harris, man. Taylor B in the building. Hey. It's going down. I'm talking about, man. Thank y'all for Boss Talk 101, man. This more than likely is a. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be talked about. A lot of the mental illnesses that was talked about on here um, <laughs> wasn't me. You see how he said that? You see how he said that? Right there. That's why niggas don't take this serious. Right there. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. I do want to plug real quick. My guy, he got... Well, y'all didn't say hey, nothing. Hey, 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 my guy. I'm going to shut this whole down. Wait, 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 hold on. He got he got a, a, a video dropping next month. Oh, for sure. Hey, we're going to plug sure. that so in real quick. It in. Probability dropping in January. Yeah, better start sure. talking around this January time. when? In January. January. <laughs> we don't got to release January, January question mark 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Did she plug it in? <laughs> Who was going... Is it an Did album or is it a record? It I already dropped my project. I yeah. dropped a project called Thailand Elba Pacney in probably October. That shit's so hard. Thailand Elba Pacney, man. Uh, I know it's hard to pronounce, but Elba Pacney, just spell it, spell it incapable backwards. And 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 that's what it is. Uh, one side is a love story. One side is the my mind, my mental illness. So, mm. you know, like I said, go out and check that on all platforms. Thailand Elba Pacney. And I will probably be dropping the second one. Oh my, no, wait. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, dropping yeah, we're that gonna, we're gonna, we, anyways, I'm going to drop that bitch. He's trying to drop his, like, I'm like, we got to, anyways. Yeah, uh, drop that over. But, uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Asphalt and Concrete and Beg and Plead, it's on that, it's on that concrete, album. Asphalt and Beg and Plead, and yeah. I think a lot of people like Emotionally Unavailable. So, emotionally. Lovers yeah, Telepathy. Lovers Telepathy. Yeah. All that potential. Y'all two act like, y'all really running down some business together. You must be physically yeah, his manager. Yeah, I was saying, <laughs> saying you all working together, too. PR I'm a big sister, man. There's something, something going on here. I just know, seen it. You heard it. She going too hard right now. I think I'm going to take on some clients soon. I know she is See, the you dog. are you are her client. I'm 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 there. That's okay. my dog for sure. Man, show. well I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> Check it, man. Mm -hmm. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk. And we out.